to use two identical candles. For example, like these two candles, they have to be of the same height or these two candles or the candles that you can see right here. I will use a meter stick and I will use a slab of glass or plastic. This is just regular plastic people use to put the signs on. So this plastic as glass, it lets most of the light to come through. However, about 4% of light is reflected. So in a way, it is not fully transparent. As we saw in other demonstrations, you always have reflection. And this reflection will help us understand how the images in mirrors are formed. Because 4% of the light here, 4% of the light here that comes from the source will be reflected through. to come to this side where I am right now and we're going to look at this experiment from the side. You can see that I have two candles here. One candle is lit and the candle on the left side and the other candle is not lit. And what I done, I moved the candle on the left side so when I look through the glass slab, the candle here appears lit. And again, when you do it with the children, you ask this the kids to go to the candle side, and then it will appear to them that the candle, which initially was not lit, that did, will appear lit. You can ask how. It appears lit because the image of this candle, which is lit, is formed, and this image is formed behind the mirror. We call it it is a virtual image. Plain mirrors always create virtual image because, as you know, the rays do not go through the mirror. But what happens here is that this lit candle forms an image and it coincides exactly with the object which is unlit. Once again, this candle is unlit, but it will appear lit. And what it allows me, it will allow me to measure the distance from the mirror or from the slab, from the surface, to the image where the image is and from the surface where the object is. And for that, I will need to have a ruler, a meter stick. And you can see that the distances are equal. Each one is 30 centimeters. And it tells me that this is 60, and the middle is exactly where the slab is 30, and the beginning is zero. So it shows to me that the image in a plane mirror appears exactly the same distance from the mirror as the original object from it. 